It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And we have new things, things to talk about, but before we do that, what are we uncorking? We are uncorking the Knob Creek Cast Strength Rye. Yes. That is a tongue twister. Go ahead and try it. Knob Creek Cast Strength Rye. Yeah, but you had to pause just a little bit, Knob right? Knob Creek Cast Strength Rye? Nope, you didn't do it. Knob Creek Cast Strength Rye. It's hard. It is hard. It is hard. So I'm gonna let you open this one because yep. while I love Knob Creek, that's probably my least favorite bottle to open. See, it wants to go away, and if it's not going this way, then you just you gotta you just gotta find it, the it'll, way. It'll, it'll it'll talk to you. It'll just tell you. Just let it tell you. Just what let it, it tell wants. you what it wants. It wants to go this way. <laughs> Get this off first. Oh, it's got, a pre-uncorking, uncorking. <laughs> we have cows. We have cows. I'm scared. What's that from? I don't know. You just it was on TV just the other day. Oh, misfire. Ah! Uh, cows? I don't know. Twister? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> That's the only thing I could think of that would involve cows. True. So, knob crink, knob crink, cast strength, rye whiskey. It is of... tough to say. Knob Creek. Cast, cast strength, strength, rye, rye whiskey. 119.6 proof. This was barreled in 2009, which makes this, again, a nine-year Knob Creek, like we were used to seeing Ooh. before the age statement was dropped. And on top of that, it's a rye. I'm close. not gonna spill it. <laughs> and it's a rye, you know, so they say rye ages, matures yeah, faster. Yeah, quickly. Um, and we're pouring into some brand new glasses. Brand new. That were made by our friend Jeb. Yes, you can find other things that he does um, at Forest to Foyer, fo or Foyer. <laughs> I say Foyer. Forest to Foyer, Foyer. I got some on more. Facebook. Um, he does like he does some of the um, wax in mine. He does um, like etched or engraved pens, like custom pens, um, out of really cool different kinds of wood. He burns his own coasters, which are pretty cool. Um, he even does like live edge tables and stuff, so, he, and he just happens to be our friend. That's right, so he, he made these, cause, uh... Yeah, we're testing, we're testing merch, and, uh, <coughs> he yeah. made us some, some made glasses. Made us these. Nice, nice big rocks glasses. Yeah. You can also follow him on, uh, on Instagram, that same. Oh, on Instagram Forest to Fouillé. So, yeah. Thanks, Jeb, for the glasses. Thanks, Jeb. We're giving these a try here for the first time. And with some lovely 119.6 proof rye whiskey. It smells like spiced vanilla, mm. but like vanilla um, extract that you use in like baking and stuff. But sure. the real kind, not that artificial stuff. I mean, it's <coughs> you can't stick your nose in there too far and take a big. It also whiff. has like a greenery <coughs> background going on. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, but I do. You know, there's uh, like an underlying caramel smell in there. It, it smells like it. It will. It will taste like that. I don't know. Not picking up any nuts. <laughs> Jeez. But we'll see. All right. Maybe some allspice. Ready? I'm ready. Okay. That's powerful stuff. Powerful. In like the cartoons when the train thing goes, and all the <laughs> yeah. Steam comes out. Yeah. One nineteen point six. You know what? That's funny because, again, I don't know if it's because it's a rye, but Pikesville's one fifteen, and it does not make me feel that way. And I mean, we've had higher proof drive <coughs> and you know, up to 139? Bourbon, yes, 139. And four. But I don't even know if that made me feel like as, as this one did. I mean, <coughs> maybe it's just my first impression. And yeah, initially I get that, but then it pretty quickly it goes taper, down. Taper yeah, it, it tapers off pretty quickly. I get the hug real quick. <laughs> yeah, the hug is present. The hug is there. The hug Instant is real. Instant hug. The hug is real but it goes into a kind of this brittle taste for me on the back end. Kind of like a, a spicy brittle. I still get a slight bit of the signature Jim Beam <clears throat> nuttiness on the back end. That's my line. I didn't say nutty, I said nuttiness. Nuttiness. <clears throat> and that doesn't count, so. Yeah, it's definitely on the finish. Uh, it's not overtly No, it's nutty. hiding in there. It's hiding in there. It's peeking its head out. It's in its heritage, but it is but Jim it's Beam. Not, it's not who it is. Yeah. It's like, hey guys, I want to be different. I'm a rye. I'm a rye. I'm, I'm not like a, my dad. I'm in a green barrel or a bottle. <laughs> He's not. Uh, but it's it's good. It does drink like Ooh. it's 125 plus. It sure does. I'll tell you what. Of course, it's a rye. Yeah, it's spicy. Now they don't 
as far you know to my knowledge they don't officially release their mash bill there's a, you can look it up and there's a lot of you know speculation, speculation out there as to what it is um, a lot of people say it's closer to a 51% rye than it is like a 95% rye so there's still you know good amount of corn in here probably um, you think this is only 51% well I think it's closer to 51 than it is 95 definitely 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 it might be somewhere crazy in the middle at like 70 or 75 but in it's our experience so warm. it's either either either, either it's either been 51 or like 95 or that's 100. true i think if you picked this up now and started drinking this once october comes around oh that would make me so happy mm. like i would drink this anytime but that would be so perfect yeah chilly fall night mm. oh that i can feel it <laughs> <laughs> i mean you really settle into this about the third or fourth yeah. drink and it's good i like it it just becomes you know your warm pair of slippers after mm. about three or four sips and you're just you're, i feel like i put a blanket you're on. in yep yeah you're in you're in like flynn now let's um and, and we've also got no the you're gonna make me add water recent uh you know barrel pick the 115 um and i think these are all gonna be yeah, they're, they're single barrel they're selects, so they're all selects. selects. So you know, like this one's from Total Wine, um, so they're they're different. I am so toasty. You're toasty. Like it feels like there's a heating pad on my chest. <laughs> this might be one of the strongest Kentucky hugs I've ever gotten. Good for what ails you. Yeah. <clears throat> Whew, if I had a cough, this is what I'm drinking. So not much difference, proof wise. You know, we might have to. Give this one a little sip. You know what hurts my heart? What hurts your heart? I wish that we could try this next to the Booker's Rye that we had. <sighs> Sigh. <laughs> yeah. Never Tis no happen. more. It's Tis gone. No more. But for science, and we can just put it in one. Let's just put it. Well, I'll just put water in mine. No. Why don't I just pour mine into yours and then? Sure. Go for it. Oh, we're just putting water in. Water one? into one. <laughs> no, you do yours. I don't want to. All right. It's only one nineteen. I put eight drops of water in there. We're gonna let this mingle. My attitude towards water really just changes based on the day. Some days I'm like, Chad, we really should. It's for the show. And then other days I'm like, why do you make me? I don't want to. I think if you really like it already, you're like, nah, water, stay out. Um, so we're gonna let this mingle for a few minutes. We're gonna be right back. And we're back. <laughs> and it's mingled. More brown sugary on the nose, I feel like. Yeah, mm -hmm. like a light brown sugar and... Go ahead and take the, uh, take the first swig. Whew! It, so it softens it up. I feel like it's almost like the heat separates from the body of it. Like the taste is tamer, mm. is sweeter, but that tongue sensation of the heat is still there. Does that make sense at all? Uh, I mean, uh, scientifically, you got me. No, I mean just but like your in words, your mouth. Your my, words do make my sense. words describe the sensation that just happened? Yes. Okay. You are speaking words that Chad understands. That was weird. Um, <clears throat> I. Are you kinda, about to say you kind of like it? I do kind of like it. I'm okay with it. It's weird. I mean, I would take it either way. Obviously. That was weird to me. What just happened? Hmm. So <clears throat> if this makes any sense at all, in that one, I feel like the heat and like the body, the balance, the flavors of the bourbon are together and in this one I feel like they just kind of separate and the body of it the flavors of it become sweeter and more subdued but the heat is still there and it's mm, weird no. after going back that's a toss-up mm. <laughs> okay and Sarah forgot how to Excuse Sarah me. has a drinking problem <laughs> she forgot how to drink what I like about the one with the water is you don't have quite the tongue fire uh, I don't know. The tongue punch? I haven't said that in a while. Um, Damn it, I but, was hoping that we move past <laughs> But what I, what I like about the uncut one is it just tastes more robust. I, I think I'm fine with either of them. Personally, like the uncut because it's more robust, like you said. Yeah. I mean, I would that be... That is just... I'm puzzled. I'd be reaching for my water a lot more with the uncut. And I feel like that would kind of cut your um, your finish. Yeah, because it's still going. Mm -hmm. It's a long finish. Not on the first drink, but once you have two or three, it's there to oh, stay. Oh, it's stuck with me. Yeah. yeah. So 
this is the barrel select. Now again, this isn't going to be completely fair because this is a pick, and the one that you have may be a different pick, unless you're, you know, local. 115, 119.8, yeah. So Six. Six. Dang. 119.6. Gun it. So close. Completely different ballpark. Mmm. Mmm. Huh. Beard stroking. Oh, that nose is way different. It's beard strokingly different. Like more like <clears throat> it does still kind of gives me the fall vibes, but more of like a greenery floral outside leaves and Go ahead dare and I say foliage. I think it's kind of funky and the finish is not as long and I like the other one better. <laughs> I think they're both really good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this one and just having it at it can't follow this one. In my opinion. Yeah. Every time when I had this and I put water in it, I was like, oh, it's good. And then I went back to the original. I was like, oh, but wait. When I had this, I was like, oh, it's really good. But then I went back to this and I was like, oh, but wait. That's what I'm saying. There's... That's good, but this is better. Yeah, it's all about that depth that it has mm -hmm. and that character. It's more multifaceted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, oh. It's good. It just is so yummy. Let's talk about price. It's... I think people would say, I don't smoke a lot of cigars, but I think people would say that this would be a good rye to smoke a cigar with. Okay. I think it has like certain notes in it that, that would be. So if you're a cigar smoker, maybe give that a shot. Absolutely. And if you are, let us know. Um, but yeah, price. Price. Uh, 64, I think. 64? Yeah, 63, 64, around there. Um, for a cast strength rye that is nine years, that's that proof. I think it makes sense. I think I'm I think okay with it. I think it's pretty fairly priced. I mean, ideally, I'd like to see it in the fifty dollar range, but sure. I mean, ideally, I'd like it to be free, but that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I mean, that's what the single barrel one twenty is. The bourbon, not Greek, is yeah. around fifty bucks. So it makes sense. It does. This, it's odd that it's actually lower than 120. When 120 is, you know, not cast strength or barrel proof in the in the bourbon, and this one, you know, could have been. That's weird. Could have been you a different. That out, I didn't think about it. Now I'm like, what? Could have been a different barrel proof entry mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. Don't know. Um, but yeah, nine year rye. It's good to see a nine back on a Knob Creek besides a single barrel. Um, six. Let's call it 64 bucks. Yeah. I think it's fair. I think it's great tasting. I'm going to give it a recommend. I'm also going to give it a recommend. This is a thing we do now after two years. We give it a thumbs up on the top of the Approved. cork. <laughs> Approved. Approved. Well, because I've done that before, but now you, you just have. add the thumb. Yeah, you just add the thumb. So we recommend. Yeah. Uh, if you've had it, let us know down in the comments below. If you're thinking about picking it up, let us know if we've influenced you to pick it up and you tried it, now you hate it, and you want your money back. Then that wasn't us. Then that wasn't us. We didn't do that. That was our evil twins. <laughs> yeah, but that will do it for us. Uh, if you haven't joined us already with the subscribe, please do so. We'd love to have you in, in, in the team. Come um, back and join us. You can hit the bell notification and become part of the notification squad, because that's a thing people say on YouTube. Uh, they also say smash that subscribe button, but I don't want to do that. Um, but <laughs> there's some other stuff. Let's talk about where you can find, not these glasses yet, but where other glassware. Other glasses. Um, you can find other glassware and many other fun things to have your very own bourbon night on our Amazon influencer page. It's amazon.com slash shop slash it's bourbon night. And then we also have a Patreon page that we rent, you know, regularly do like polls, uh, let you know what our schedule for the live month is for the whole month. Um, ask your opinion, send you some stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. And then you can follow us on all the social medias, all them social particularly medias. Facebook and Instagram at It's Bourbon Night. That will do it for us. Thanks again to Jeb. Follow Forrest to Foyer or Foyer, whichever you prefer. F O Y E R. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> on sure. Instagram and Facebook, and hit him up if you want him to design something custom for you: glasses, pens, coasters, what have you. So even if you made, can engrave it, he can probably figure out how to do it. Yeah. He's, he's even he's made very nifty. Uh, boxes for uh, dice and card games and stuff. And it's got what's called yeah. a living edge. So it's like how you cut, oh, yeah. how you cut the wood and it literally bends it's cool. on it. It's very cool. It's very cool. Just go check it out. Go he's, check it out. He's, yeah. a, he's a little creator, that Jeb. He, he's a thinker. <laughs> All right. So thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Until next time, drink more bourbon.
we're uncorking the not great. No. <laughs> you just made the end of the episode. <laughs>